In Highlands Ranch, we are getting our first up-close look at the excavation of dinosaur bones at a construction site. Yeah, students across the state get to watch and ask a lot of questions of paleontologists. A construction crew discovered the bones near a senior living area. Drone 4 over that for you, giving you a good picture of what it looks like there. Tori Mason on the ground tonight. And Tori, scientists talk to people all around the world through social media. And everyone had a lot of questions, but it's still too early to answer them all. We're outside of the construction site for that retirement community where the bones were found. It didn't take scientists long to determine a dinosaur retired here first. To hear that there's actually, you know, a dinosaur in our backyard, it's really great. The land before time is closer than you think. Scientists at the Museum of Nature and Science are digging up a true Colorado native. We've uncovered a number of ribs. Um, we found the lower leg bone, the tibia, the upper arm bone, the humerus. Um, we think we have parts of the dinosaur skull. It's too soon to say what type of dinosaur this was, but they believe it had a horn. It's likely similar to a triceratops or a torosaurus. Down low, there's kind of a long, skinny, slender bone, and that's one of the rib bones from the dinosaur. A security guard snapped these photos before the snow came in. The weather's made excavating these fossils even harder. Well, that's been a huge challenge for us is keeping the bones together in these damp conditions. Students got to ask their own questions through a live stream from the site. Hi, my name is Nathan and my question is uh, how many dinosaur bones that paleontologists find actually go to museums? The folks that own this land, Eric's and Living, they don't actually have to give us these dinosaur bones. They own the land, so the dinosaur bones belong to them. Scientists say they're grateful the owner allowed them to dig. Now they can share these fossils with the museum and the rest of the world. We're just so fortunate that somebody said, hey, stop there. I think I see something that looks like a bone. Now, it's actually raining out here right now. Hopefully, the weather will get better in the next couple of days because they want to be able to get these bones out of the ground and get them to the museum sometime next week. Now, the site is not open to the public. You can't come here and see these bones for yourself. We were very lucky to get this exclusive look. We're live in Highlands Ranch. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Very cool, Tori. Thank you.